Billy. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> We've been talking about food, and now he's hungry. We're all hungry. Yes. So, welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. Hopefully, you are glad to be here. I don't know why I said that. We're glad you're here. Um, make sure you do hit the like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. And today is National Moonshine Day. There's a National Moonshine Day? There's a National Everything Day. Okay. So today I'd like is, to see all the overlapping days. Today it's... is National Moonshine Day, so we are going to have some good old moonshine. And this is like real moonshine from like Arkansas or something. Uh, I forget where this was from. I'm pretty sure it's Arkansas. This is from the uh, Crystal Ridge Distillery. It is um, spirits to... Uh, distilled from grain, so it's a grain moonshine, not a corn moonshine. It's called the Mule Kick. <laughs> Was it Mule Kick Moonshine? My wife picked this up. It's a white lightning, so it's a true moonshine, other than the legality aspect, because there's no real moonshine that well, you can buy no in light. stores. There's, there's only moonshine you get from your friends. There's no like laws or anything about if it is moonshine it's like if, if, it's, if it's against the law it's moonshine if it's distilled illegally it's moonshine yeah so this is not distilled illegally this is a um 60 percent or 120 proof so it's going to be kicking no age statement obviously it's crystal clear and the cost of this is only $27.99, so that's a three barrel on cost. And this believe it or not, I believe this is a $750. Yeah, this is $750. It looks so it, tiny. It's, I know. Bottles are amazing. Like, um, I don't know, let's just pick up a random bottle from Texas. Eh, probably the same. Now, I get a lot of stuff from the UK, and so now I have to be very careful because some of it's leaders. Because um, they do liters, they don't do 750s. Uh, well, it's 750 milliliters, but they sell it by the liter. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, this is Arkansas Moonshine. I have not had it. It's been open for Cody, who's sitting behind the camera. Whew. You want a lot? It's thinking it's water for a minute. Now, I'm headed to the UK here, um, and I love saying that because I love to travel. I'm headed to the UK here in just a few weeks, and so we've been doing back-to-back -back episodes. We only film once a week. We're gonna start filming twice a week to catch up, because um, I need those episodes available when I'm in the UK, just in case I can't film. This is our last episode of, what, six? I'm kind of going into this with fear and trepidation. <laughs> yeah. Let's end it with 120 proof. I don't know if I really need the will. Probably not, because, ooh, oh, wow. Yes. Yeppers. So. Smooth. It's smooth. There's flying here. It's attracted to the moonshine. I do feel, I smell a little. Um, Definitely a grain, not a corn. You can smell the grain. But I f smell like a little bit of. Um, you smell or that smell? A little bit kind of like moldiness almost. Uh-huh. That's the grain. You get that moldy kind of fungal aroma. Yeah. Or the unami. Unami. <laughs> it's a, where'd this fly come from? I don't know. The door's been closed for like There's two of them now. As soon as we pop out the moonshine, flies show up. Uh, it is a little bit It's got a little sweetness to it. Yeah. I'm thinking there's, it's got a strong, pungent alcohol on the nose though. Mm -hmm. So every time I'm trying to zero in on that aroma, the alcohol gets me. It's, it's a little pungent like, kind of like an apple, but not a sweet apple. Or a pear, it's more like a pear. I'm gonna say like, It's not a two and a half, but it's not a three. <laughs> okay, let's let's just go with two and a half on aroma. Um, I think it's got a little pear in there. Uh, there's no real sweetness to it. I mean, it's not 
bad or anything. No, it's no, just no. not like... It's a grain, though, and that's the problem. If it was a corn, you'd get some sweetness to it. We're going to taste it. Spicy. It's actually not horrible. I, got the, um, I actually like this. It's got cinnamon in it. Okay. Um, it's. I'm getting more of a pepper spiciness, like a black pepper. But I can get that cinnamon aroma or flavor. It's got the sweetness, but I. I don't know what it is. It just must be the fermented grain. And you definitely got that that funky umami. Okay. It's like it's a very light sweetness, kind of like a sugary, almost vanilla, but not quite. Yeah. Um. I don't like the aroma. The flavor is not bad. This is going to be excellent in some uh, cocktails. Ooh, but it's it's some rock gut. I can feel it in my gut. It's got a a bite to it. So we gave it a two and a half on aroma. Flavor, I'm I'm gonna have to go with two and a half. It has got a very pungent, or I'm sorry, bitter, um, but palpable flavor. I'm getting that um, spiciness, some cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, but not much. This would probably be really good aged, about three years, two years. Get some oak flavor into it, some wood flavors. But and then cut it down to a mm -hmm. reasonable... I'm really curious about the grain. I'm thinking it's probably a malt. I was thinking maybe wheat. Could be. It just doesn't have that heaviness of the wheat. Who knows? Well, they know, but. Um, and it may be on the bottle. I haven't read the bottle. Um, we, a lot of people get kind of picky when we do these reviews because like it says on the bottle what the aroma is or whatever. We choose not to look at that stuff. Because we want to go into it kind of blind right. to see what, what we like. Yeah. You know, it's like we don't want our review to be tainted by... The bite is very sharp. Uh, so here's the deal. This is going to be a two and a half. It's 10 overall. It's a very weak 10 to me. So this is a two and a half barrel. And the reason that I say here's the deal is because how many moonshines have we actually done? Like white lightning moonshines. We've done a couple moonshines that have been like peach flavor. Yeah. Or I had an opportunity to do a mango jalapeno We did Ma flavor. Martin Greer, which was like but More of a bourbon, not a moonshine. That was a honey base. Yeah. Um, compared to other white lightnings, we got quite a few. Uh, we have the Andalusian uh, white that you can still purchase. Hands down, I'd choose this. Uh, this is done with a corn, I believe. Um, and I think that's the difference between the white lightnings or the uh, new makes. Is is it a grain? Or is it a corn-based? This is grain. Uh, it's not awful. It'll make a great cocktail. If we can find some moonshine cocktails. But unfortunately, it is a two and a half rating, and it's not even that expensive. Uh, no. It may grow on me. It's not gonna grow on Cody. He's just like, oh, he likes it. But he gave the total like <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Yeah, I think the only way I can actually got some prominent flavor, so see myself drinking this as if my tastes like corn whiskey. But it's not corn. It's not. No. If my sweetie. He's not paying attention at all to this. He's been on his phone. 
Um, Toasty, man. Yeah. I, I don't like the aroma. It, it tastes like... Dirty socks. Or dirt. it smells like dirty socks. Yeah, it's that, it's that moldy kind of like... But not in a bad way. No. In a good way. I will tell you right now, if that I could get a handle of this for 20 bucks. So I think it's overpriced, but obviously it's a craft distillery. So, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have to survive. But if I could buy a handle of this for 20 bucks, I would definitely buy three of them and put them in my five gallon or five liter barrel and age it because I think this would be much better aged. In fact, I believe that we have some Crystal Ridge on the shelf of their bourbon and whiskeys. Um, so we'll definitely check that out and compare it when we get to it. Um, but yeah, this would be well worth aging. I'm not sure that I like it this way. No, the only reason I could see drinking this like it's great is if your sweetie just left you and you'd be like <laughs> I can think of a cocktail maybe yeah, yeah Cody cocktails will. or something so tomorrow is um, today's national moonshine day tomorrow is our normal um, cocktail day we'll see if Cody can come up with a cocktail with it possibly maybe we'll if you got shot and they were gonna like sew you up and you drink a couple of, and then they put the stick in your mouth and say bite down and they pull a bullet Which out. happens in every ER across the nation, right? Yeah, because there's no anesthesia. Every time the ambulance shows up, that's what they have is a bottle of moonshine and a stick. <laughs> drink this and bite down on the stick. I was a medic in the Navy and we didn't even have this stuff, but you know, I kind of like that idea. I think they'd be afraid we'd drink it all. It's like, where's the medicine? I don't know where it is. All that? right, tell us what you think about um, Crystal Ridge and Grain Moonshine. Uh, we've done some corn moonshine, but tell us what you think about Grain Moonshine. What are we missing in this? Um, we did rate it as a two and a half, which is, you know, midway between a five so it's not bad um but tell us what you think about it no, um, i'm definitely not a hater yeah give us some uh insight on it what's your favorite moonshine um and moonshine is a very thin line because some people market whiskey as moonshine and stuff to me but moonshine not. looks like this it's white i, I white almost lightning. caught myself said maybe we should do more moonshine but <laughs> We have quite a bit of moonshine to do, but again, it's gimmicky, the word. Um, yeah, kind of like of saying bonded. Movie. So tell us what you think. Make sure you check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, merchandise, and TikTok. And the order should be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And then merch. But the I always the forget. The telepompter is broken. Yeah, the telepompter is broken. Make sure you check all of that. Um, Check out our video tomorrow. Hopefully Cody can um, come up with a cocktail for this. We'll see uh, Yeah, we'll see and then uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe it means a lot to us and uh, Remember there's no bad whiskey or moonshine. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. This is This is decent whiskey. I decent would moonshine. say it's like It's good. It's, yeah, it's good Cody likes it. So I'm, I'm saying for a definite cocktail. I would never drink this straight, I don't think. Yeah. Cheers. Laters. Oh, sorry.